Okay, so uh, going forward, uh, let's add some more functionality of a project which is uh, fetching the actual feed from the API because right now we're just showing some dummy data. Well, I mean, we don't have to show dummy data, we have to show some real data. So uh, the thing is, if you go to the, uh, you know, the demo site, you will see that when you're not logged in, you get to see this global feed button only. And when you're in the logged in state, when I have a user which is logged in, in that case, I see your feed and global feed i've got two options so global feed shows me all the articles like usual and your feed shows me articles from the people whom i follow okay now as for the api there is a way to fetch these two lists if i go to uh you know articles so we're going to get get api slash articles in that case we uh, get all the articles and we can pass uh, the tag filter to filter by tag we can pass the author filter to filter by author favorited uh, to filter by who has favorited those articles we can pass a limit and offset for the purpose of pagination so that you know we can get like 20 articles at a time and you can show only 20 articles in a single page stuff like that next uh, we have got this api slash article slash field which fetches me articles only of my current feed now uh, for api slash articles authentication is optional we don't need to pass the token because this is global feed everybody can see that uh, authentication is required when we are trying to fetch api slash article slash feed because uh, this feed is specific to a particular user if i make a request to api slash article slash feed i'm going to get only those articles that i am following and only those few users that i am following and that's possible only if the server knows who is making that request okay so we're gonna uh, implement both of these things in our system and see how that goes for that what we'll do is we will create a new module in our store and we do have a module called users here we'll add a articles module uh, to achieve that okay uh, so what we uh, do is uh, we have created uh, something like this um, you know we uh, create a feed array which is uh, empty okay uh, initially an account which is zero uh, I have a mutation called set article uh, which sets the articles into the feed and it sets the uh, article count into count okay um, then we have a two functions here one called get global feed another called get uh, user feed so the get global feed uh, one uh, takes like a page numbers and argument optionally if possible and we create a root called articles if you know the uh, payload uh, contains a uh, tag or uh, a an author or uh, favorited or uh, the page numbers then i add these url parameters i add uh, tag equal to the name of the tag or author equal to name of the author or favorited equal to name of the favorited and if i get a page then i what i do is i uh, I, I offset uh, page uh, minus one and I limit it, uh, you know, up to uh, limit it to 10. So if somebody sends a page number, then I uh, can fetch uh, based on that. I can, uh, I can add offset and limit to my um, API. Uh, so uh, and then uh, what I do is I do API dot get on this route, which is slash articles and i get a response and i send the response dot data into set articles so uh, response dot data is going to be uh, of this type um, it will contain an art array called articles and it will contain an article count okay so uh, so my response dot data contains articles and article count i set both of them into my state uh, what do i do when somebody does get user feed in that case i make a request to articles slash feed uh, and in in article slash feed, uh, there is you know no option uh, to to pass uh, the tag and author and all that stuff. There is only an option for uh, limit and offset. Only pagination is available. So if somebody sends a page number into get user feed, I do the same thing as above, right? Uh, same thing that I've done here. I do the same thing uh, right here, and then uh, I I make get request and i set the data to set articles okay so that's like my state management part of the stuff how do i show this inside my ui uh, i go to my uh, home page and we have this thing is that if uh, a username exists in only that case i show your feed if a username does not exist then your feed is not shown and uh, 
when I click on uh, click on this button, the your feed button. Uh, so you know that's how it looks like. Let me just uh, serve this. Right. Um, okay, there we go. So. Um, so by default, it shows the global feed button only because there is no username. And if I click on the global feed button, then it uh, then it calls the set feed function. So I have these uh, functions uh, created here. Um, I have a set feed method which takes a feed type. If the feed type is global, then I do store dot dispatch articles slash get global feed. And if the feed type is user, in that case, I do store or dispatch article slash get user feed. So if I call this function set feed with feed type global, then uh, this function is going to be run, right? And if I call this function set feed with feed type equal to user, in that case, um, um, this uh, get user feed function is going to run. Uh, next, uh, what, what, what we do is, um, when my page is created for the first time so i'm using the created lifecycle hook so there are these things view lifecycle hooks okay um so when a component is created inside vue.js uh there is this like uh it's the it's initialized there's before create and there's created then there is like before mount before it's attached to the dom mounted when it is attached into the dom there is update and before update, whenever, whenever data is updated, and there's before destroy and destroy. So when my uh, component is created, I, I uh, fetch the global feed because by default, when I open the website, I want to show the default feed to the user. Um, then we have uh, like uh, the computed property called global articles, which uh, returns this dot stored or state article slot feed. And I have a username, which returns this dot store get as user slash username. Um, I also need to change the active tab. So for that, I have set uh, the class active to if the active feed is global, then uh, this is active. And if the active feed is user, then this is active. So I'll just show that in action to you. Um, I will just uh, sign in, you know, um, a at .lk, the user that I had created, same password, a at cb.lk, I'll just sign in. I go to my home page and uh, oh, okay, I think uh, we've got a bit of a problem here is that um, just uh, yeah, so just yeah, so now I'm on my home page. I have the global feed button and I have the your feed button. So when I click on your feed, uh, the the active tab also needs to change so that I get this green color here. So my class active should get applied to your feed and I click on global feed, it should get applied to global feed. Um, there is like uh, another bit of information that I should add. Like when I change, it shows this loading articles page in the middle, I, I should, you know, do that um you know maybe maybe i'll just check how that's done uh, I, I just add uh, this real world thing in the middle uh, instead of these articles when they're not visible um uh, but for now yeah uh, i think we can do something that we can check the length of global articles if the length is zero then i can show this loading state in the middle but yeah i when i click on global feed it starts downloading uh, the global feed and then uh, the data gets fetched into store.state or articles.feed. My computer property is run and uh, all my article previews are you know regenerated for the global feed. I click on your feed and then it just makes an API call to your feed, downloads that stuff, saves it here. Uh, if you inspect the uh, you know view uh, vivex state articles, yep, yeah. articles feed. Array only two items. If I go to global feed, changes to ten articles. Your feed changes to two articles. Okay, so yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. Now I can fetch the articles for the global feed, fetch the articles for my uh, you know uh, user feed, show all of these there. Um, next up, I uh, will try and 
focus on the tags, how to fetch the actual tags from the API and show the correct tags there. Okay, so I think it's, it's where, you know, able to build most of the project, you know, if you're just following uh, the, all, the, all the videos and just building it along with the videos. So yeah, I mean, we have got most of the functionality working. We have got you know, login, we have got sign up, we have got a global feed, local feed, stuff going. Uh, we have to add the new post functionality to, you know, write new articles. So we'll focus on that next few videos. Thank you for watching.